very, very important. 100. It's really under the cosh here, Hybrex now, early on in this battle. Former quarter finalist here, that was in 2012. And uh, Andy Hamilton knocked him out. A very, very famous win over Paul Nicholson previous round. That's when he announced himself on the darting scene, Hybrex. 81. Sell out at the Ali Pali. 58. Who will be going out Saturday night at the darts already? Andy Hamilton and Bo Anderson beaten. Robert Thornton and Richie Burnett. 60. Through to the last 16. Got to win this leg from here, surely. 93. Say that, Stu, but another 180 or even a 140 here for me and White, and he'll be sneaking up again, won't he? 60. No sneaking. Give me a pass. And played the best darts of his life in 2013, Ian White. And he's carrying on that form on the biggest stage in world darts. 45. Well, saw off that nine darter from Kyle Anderson to beat the Aussie in the opening round. Came from a set down to win as well. 94. Give you a bar, 32. For a first he leg, on the second leg. Last. Tim Herbert. Long last for Kim Highbrex. Third leg is in the first. Will that be the kickstart? Well, if he can turn it round here, Rob, if he can somehow find a way to break the throw, then in the blink of an eye, there's a whole different context on the match but not if white carries on playing like this wow. a little germ of recovery was starting to flourish white trampled on it 140 match 180 is two apiece Ian white on the wrong end of a nine darter against kyle anderson in round one and he set up an opportunity of his own Tell you what, there seems to be a nine dart opportunity virtually every match. Yeah. You're right, you're right. Two already. 93. Two misses with the last dart on double 12 from Messrs Brown and Caven. Six perfect darts are plenty. Seven perfect darts are many. And one from Richard Burnett tonight. And his uh, win over Andy Hamilton, his 4 1 win. Burnett waiting to see who wins this, to see who he plays. And as he revealed to you, Stuart, in the interview, when he plays, as he sometimes turns up on the wrong day, he said. Yeah, I think Richie will be here on the 27th to play Kim Hybrex or Ian White. The way that Ian, Ian White is playing at the moment, Ian White, Ian White is going to take some right beating. Game on. Is it going to be Burnett against White? For a play to the world quarterfinals. Hybrex has the look of a man who's struggling with a particularly difficult crossword clue. Knows the answer is somewhere in the back of his mind, but he can't find it. 86. There's, there's hardly ever a flicker from Ian White, is there? Whatever this you'd struggle to know what he scored by looking at his face. 100. That last dart signaled for me a bit of frustration for the first time in Kim Hybrex. Highly fancied Belgian at the moment is in trouble and needs to find 100. something from somewhere because White is just going about his business. As I mentioned, 97 average, 50% on the doubles. 96. And that's all it needs at the moment. Authoritative from Ian White, who started the match as a 2 to 1 underdog to get rid of Hybrex in the second round. Business like player on the uh, pro circuit, but 100. very little to shout about 
in TV tournaments really and absolutely no world championship pedigree he'd be the first to admit 134 oh, White reached his first TV qualifier in the PDC at the Players Championship lost to Hamilton but that was his first appearance in the last eight Looking good here at the moment. 100. Give me a 117. Opportunity. 119. Right, well, now Ian White has got one of those opportunities that you mentioned in the first set to sneak up. Give me a 115. That was a terrible visit from Kim Hybrex. He knows it. So does Mr. White. Here we go. And he's Here's done it again. Mr. Here White on. with the dart in the Ali Pali. 115 finish. And he's two sets up against the much fancy Belgian Kim Hybrex. Did I detect a little smile on the face of Ian White?